the wait might finally be over. And trust me, this one's going to be worth it. After weeks of testing, fixes, and speculation, Samsung's One UI 8 stable update might be closer than anyone expected, and the latest clues just made the timeline very clear. This is not just another update. This could be the one that transforms your Galaxy phone experience before the end of the month. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you love staying ahead on all things Galaxy, hit like, share this with your tech buddies, and subscribe so you never miss the next big update. Now here's where it gets exciting. Earlier this month, Samsung kicked off the One UI 8 beta program for the Galaxy S23 lineup. Beta 2 just dropped in South Korea with firmware S91 and KSU 6 e 5 and it's already fixing three of the most annoying issues, the random phone reset bug, the DAC settings that wouldn't save, and the Galaxy Watch 7's weather clock lag. This means the system is running cleaner and smoother than ever, which is usually Samsung's last step before going public. But that's just the beginning. Galaxy S25 users just got beta 7, and this is the one that matters most. It's fixing six major bugs, including multiple lock screen issues and that frustrating Bluetooth audio glitch that's been bugging users for weeks. The fact that this is the seventh beta tells us we are very close to the finish line. Historically, Samsung only goes this far in testing when they are days away from launching the stable build. And there's another huge sign. Samsung just pushed a wave of Galaxy Store updates, refreshing language packs across dozens of devices. This is exactly what they do right before a big release, because these packs are critical for Galaxy AI's real time translation and transcription. The timing is too perfect to be random. All evidence points to a rollout window within the next two weeks, maybe even sooner. And if you think Samsung's holding back features, think again. The Peanut app just got a major upgrade with a new brush tool and full One UI 8 compatibility. This is especially interesting because stable One UI 8 is already live on devices like the Galaxy Tab S11 and S11 Ultra, hinting that Samsung is preparing to bring this polished experience to every S Pen equipped device, including the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So here's what I'm hearing. September 18 could be day S25 owners have been waiting for with the S25 Edge, Galaxy S24, Galaxy A56 5G, and A36 following just a week later. If this holds true, Beta 7 might actually be the last test build before Samsung finally pushes the public release. That means we could all be running the official Android 15 based One UI 8 before the month ends. And don't worry if you're rocking a Galaxy A series, your turn is coming right after. Galaxy A55 users should see the update by early October with A54, A52's A35, A34, and even budget models like the A25 and A23 lined up for rollout through late October. By November, nearly every eligible Galaxy phone and tablet should be running the same clean, AI-enhanced interface. Now the real question is, what hidden features is Samsung saving for the stable release? Beta builds are great for polishing, but Samsung has been known to surprise users with extra goodies on launch day. Maybe new AI tricks, maybe hidden performance boosts for the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip that the S25 series shares with the Fold 7. We'll know soon enough. If you're part of the beta program, make sure you grab the latest update from settings, software update to download and install. You don't want to miss the final round of testing before the big release drops. This is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most important software launches in years. With Galaxy AI becoming a central part of the experience, One UI 8 is more than just a visual upgrade. It's a major leap towards smarter, more personalized phones. So buckle up, because the next two weeks are going to be huge for Galaxy fans. I'll be tracking every new clue, every surprise feature, and every rollout date so you know exactly when to expect it on your device. That's it for today but I want to hear from you. Are you excited about One UI 8 finally dropping or frustrated that it's taken this long? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's chat about what features you're most hyped for. And don't forget, if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're first in line for my next update when Samsung makes this official.